In 2018, 14.3 million taxpayers in Germany filed a tax return and out of that 12.6 million got a tax refund, averaging around 1000 euros. That's an easy 1000 euros in your pocket and you can do that by using the free online service called Elster. The tool may look a bit complicated and there is a lack of clear how-to tutorials, especially in English. But once you understand the basics and all the right forms to fill, then the whole process is super easy. It will hardly take 30 minutes and is totally free of cost. So in this video, we'll go through step by step on how to file a tax return in Germany using Elster and get your money back. I know this video may be a bit long and tedious, but 1000 euros for 30 minutes of your time, I think it's a good return of investment. So let's grab a coffee and get started. Not everyone is required to file their tax in Germany. However, everyone who would like can do their taxes and submit them. And I would highly recommend that you do. And you got four years to do this. So for 2018, you can do it until 2022. But if you belong to the category that is mandated by law to file a return, such as if you received any benefit from the government or you have an additional income, then you have to file your return by July 31st of the following year. For example, tax declaration of 2022 has to be done before the July of 2023. Now to keep this video short and simple, I'm only going to show the tax declaration to be done for someone who is earning a regular income as an employee. And finally, before we start, a short disclaimer. I'm not a tax consultant and this is not any kind of personal or professional advice. Only you know your individual situation and finances. So take all this information, but make your own decisions. I'm going to assume that you already have an Elster account with the authentication process completed. If you haven't already done that, then you can watch this video, do that first and then come back here. Once you log in and get to the home page, you have the option to submit different forms to the finance amount. To do the basic income tax return, we go to the formula Einkommen Steuer Erklärung and click on the start or the plus button. Select the year you want to do your tax return and then click on writer. Now, if you have already done a tax submission with Elster, you get an option to take over most of your personal data from your previous submission. If the option is there, use it. It can save you some time and effort. If this is your first time, this section will be empty and you can continue without the takeover. Now, we are going to do it all from scratch. So, we click on this One Daten Übername Fortfahren and now we get to the page Anlage Assistant. Enter your first name, last name and identification number. This is a unique 11 digit number that you might have caught during your first registration or annual doing in Germany. Now remember that this is different from your Steuer number. Steuer number is assigned by your local tax office to categorize your documents and make the process faster. Once assigned, the tax ID or the identification number will never change and is fixed for life. But if you move under the jurisdiction of a different tax office, your Steuer number can change. Once we enter the identification number here, we got two options to continue. One is without the Anlage Assistant and second one is with the Anlage Assistant. Normally, you must fill out a common form called the Hop Fordruck and many sub forms based on your current life situation. The tax office wants to help you find the proper forms using this Anlage Assistant by making you answer a few questions. Since we know which forms we need, we are going to continue without the support of the Anlage Assistant and select the forms manually. Now everyone has to fill the general tax form or the hop for Druk where you have to provide basic personal information. For our use case, that's an employee with a basic income salary, these forms are the most important. The main income tax declaration form, then the Anlage N, which is the salary details, the Anlage Sonder Ausgaben, which are the additional expenses, and Anlage Vorsorge Aufwand, which are the health and retirement expenses. You can find more forms here based on each particular use case. Once we are done selecting the forms relevant to us, Elster asks if you want to take over some credentials from the data already saved about you in the tax office. We click no and then go to the actual tax declaration. Now on the left side of the screen, you can see the navigation window which shows you an overview of different sections and which section you are currently in. You can also find the forms below and at a later point, if you want to add or remove a form, you can do it here by clicking on the button Anlagen Hinzufügen or Enfernen. Now first, we select the option to do an Einkommen Steuer Erklärung or an income tax return. The next step is to enter the place of your tax office and the tax number if you got one. If you are making the tax declaration for the first time or you don't already have a tax number, then select the option Neue Steuer Nummer Beantragen. This is to create a new Steuer Nummer and select the land and the tax office where you belong. Then later, a tax number will be sent to you by post. Now go to the section 1 where we start with entering our personal details. If you have changed your residence in the year of filing the tax, you can provide the details of your previous tax office in field 6. You can also provide a telephone number for inquiries from the tax office, but these fields are not mandatory. 
Now, following two sections are your personal details, name, date of birth and your current address. Now, if you have a residence outside of Germany, you can also enter that here. Now, in field 17, enter your current profession. Now, the next section is for married people. You can give here the date of your marriage, the death of your partner, divorce or separation in case any of this is applicable for you. Now, finally, we come to religious preferences, which you can select from the drop down list. If you know you are in required to pay the church tax, you can select Nicht Kirchensteuer Flischtig or not applicable for church tax. Now we go to the next page by clicking on next day site. This section must only be filled if you make a joint declaration with your partner. You can enter your partner's details exactly like we did earlier. And now on the next page, you can select if you want to file jointly with your partner or separately. The third is a special case and you can choose that in case you have come to an agreement with your partner to collectively own all financial assets. If you don't choose an option here, then the tax office is going to assume that you want to do a joint assessment. Now we can move to the next page and enter our bank details. Just enter the IBAN and select if the account belongs to you or your partner in case of a joint filing. This will be the account where you will get your tax refund. So double check before you move to the next page. The next section or section 5 is to opt for receiving the tax receipt in digital or the paper form. Unless you have a particular need to get it in the paper form, select the option 1 or the Bescheid Bekangabe in electronic share form. The tax office then provides the tax notice only in electronic form and informs the tax obligations by email. Now on the left, under the section Soundstige Angaben und Entrege, we can see more forms to fill out. The section Antrag of Festsetzung the Arbeitnehmer's Passulage is to be filled if you have some investment plan with the employer. We are going to skip that and go to section 7 Einkommens Ersatz Leistungen. If you have received any financial benefits besides your regular salary, this must be filled out. If we check the drop down, we can see options like unemployment benefits, parental benefits, short term salary allowance, etc. So if applicable, you select the option and enter the amount in euros. Once you enter the value, you should always click on the tick button or Eintrag Übernehmen to submit the entry. You can also add multiple entries by clicking on the plus sign. And if you want to delete an entry, you can click on the wastebasket icon. Now we are just going to leave it empty. Now the remaining sections are not common use cases. So I'm not going to explain them in detail. Section 8 must be filled if you financially support someone or a household. And if you want to communicate extra information to the tax office to consider along with your tax return, then you can do it with section 9. Section 10 must be filled if you have changed your religion in the calendar year of filing the tax return. If you receive direct personal help from someone to file the tax return, then you could enter it in section 11. But remember that unauthorized help with the tax return is a punishable offense. You usually don't have to attach any receipts unless the tax office asks for them. But if you have attached anything, you can specify that in section 12. Now next, we move on to the most important form for all employed people with a regular income. This section is kind of easy to fill out because most of the information can be directly taken from your employment tax statement or Lonstrei Bescheinigung which is provided by your employer. This document is a summary of all your earnings and paid taxes for the year. Now comes the part where you must enter your income and tax details. Now first select the tax class to which you belong. Now to fill entry 6 to 10 in the declaration form, we need to go to Lonstrei Bescheinigung and get data from section 3 to 7. Now enter the values accordingly and click Eintrag Übernehmen to submit the entry. Now below you can find a separate section if you belong to a different tax class other than 1 to 5. Now section 3 to 8 is for special use cases which we can ignore for basic tax filing. Now the next section Verbum Kosten is to enter all your job related expenses. A fixed amount of 1000 euros is automatically deducted from your taxable income as office expenses by the tax office. But if you exceed that amount in the taxation year, it makes sense to enter it here. Now the important one here is the cost of your commute to office. So click on the plus sign to add a new entry. Now enter the address of your work location, the pin code, the city, the street and the house number. Now if you work for the whole year at this location, enter the range as 1st of January to end of December. Working hours per week typically comes to 5. And for the vacation and sick leaves, we will assume 30 days of vacation and 5 days of sick. So in total, 35. Next, we have to enter the number of days we travel to the office. If you regularly go to the office and are not doing any home office, then you can enter around 220 working days here, which is the approximate number of 
working days in a calendar year excluding holidays and weekends. You can also confirm this in Google by checking the number of working days for the year you are filing the tax. Now next, enter the distance in kilometer to the office. You can round it off to the nearest whole number. Remember that this is a distance in only one direction. You can use Google Maps or any other road planner and find the shortest distance. Now enter the value in the applicable mode of transport, whether your own car, the company arranged transport, public transport or even walking. You can also directly enter the cost of your ticket if you use public transport for your commute. Now click on Eintrag Übernehmen to save the entry. The section below is for those with multiple work locations or in case you received any travel benefit from the company. We are going to skip that for now. In the next section, if you are part of any working councils, then you can enter the membership costs here. Now we are going to leave it as it is. This is a section where you can enter the cost for your office supplies like books, journals, work clothing, tools, etc. Now here is a short tip. You can enter 110 euros here without the need to submit any receipts. Now when we move to the next section, Aufwendungen for ein Hausliches Arbeitszimmer, you can enter here the expenses related to your office room or study in your home. This is only applicable if you don't have the option to work in an actual office and you have a separate room reserved exclusively for work. The next section is Home Office Pauschale. This was introduced during the pandemic time. You can deduct 5 euros from your taxable income for each day you work from home up to a limit of 600 euros or 120 days. Here we have to provide the information in days. In the next section Ford Buildings Cost in, we can enter the training cost related to our current job like the expenses for a new certificate or the seminars that you paid for yourself. Now when we come to the final section Vitre Verbungs Cost in, here we can enter all the remaining work related expenses like all the expenses related to the job application or if you have changed your residence in the taxation year for the purpose of your work. Another short tip, you can add 16 euros for salary account management charges and up to a maximum of 240 euros for telephone and internet costs here without any receipt. There are few more sections here like work related travel cost or having a double household. But these are not general use cases so we are going to skip that now and go to the next form additional expenses or Anlage Sondrauskaben. This form has got four sections so if you pay the church tax then that can be entered in section 1. If you have made any donation to a charity or a political party that can be entered under section 2. And section 3 Berus Ausbildung Kosten covers all the expenses for vocational training including higher studies. And finally in section 4 Weitere Aufwendungen you can enter other expenses like alimony to your partner. Now we come to the final form Anlage Vorsorge Aufwand. The important details to enter here are the mandatory contributions to pension and health insurance. And you can get this information from the Launstrei Bescheinigung. If you see every entry here as a hint about the field in the Launstrei Bescheinigung that you have to refer to. First we go to section 1 and then enter the pension contribution from your Launstrei Bescheinigung. First you must enter the employee and employer contribution from sections 22 and 23 in the Launstrei Bescheinigung to the fields 4 and 9. Similarly we go to section 2 and then enter the contributions to public insurance from sections 25 and 26 of the Launstrei Bescheinigung. If you have any private health insurance in Germany or in other countries, you can enter this information in sections 3 and 4. For section 5, copy 24a, 24b and 24c from your Lohnsteuer Bescheinigung to 37, 38 and 39 fields in the tax declaration form. Now we go to section 7 and enter the contributions to Arbeitloss Versicherung or Jobless Insurance from field 27 of the Lohnsteuer Bescheinigung to field 45 of the tax declaration. Finally, you can enter the payments to other private insurances such as Privat Haflisch, Leben Versicherung, Risiko Versicherung, etc. in the field 48. Now we are done with entering all the details. You can either save and leave the form or do a final check and submit it. To submit the form, click on the option Proofen. Now the tool will check for errors in your entries and list them below. Now you can click on the error and it will take you directly to the point of the error. Once you have fixed all your errors, you get a report stating how much you will get back or in worst case how much you have to pay back to the tax office. And this is not binding. The actual amount can change once the tax office completes the verification. Finally, recheck the entire form and send the declaration to the tax office. I know we haven't covered every single use case but at least the important ones are done. And for special cases like parents and house owners, there are additional forms to be filled and that I will cover as a part of a separate video. If you got some value from this video, then click on the like button and think of subscribing to the channel. Until I see you with another video, stay safe and stay happy. Bye.